Welcome back to Break 75, everybody. Episode number seven, down here at another open venue, Royal Lytham St. Anne's. Now, you've seen last week's episode when I played at St. Andrew's, the home of golf, and played quite well and had that special finish. Well, today we're here ahead of the amateur championship, which is actually happening in a couple of weeks. It might have already happened by the time this video is coming out. It's a little bit breezy, and get this. Come and look at this. This rough is juicy. If your golf ball's going in this today, that is gonna be hard. I like this golf club a lot. It's a test. There are hundreds of bunkers. In fact, there's this many bunkers on this golf course. I'm excited about this, so I'm playing with Guy. Feeling confident after the last couple of times we broke 75, so let's go out there again. Let's go and break 75. Let's have a nice day in the sun, in the wind, here at Royal Lytham. Okay, so after quite a bit of warm up, shots on driving range, a few putts, a few chips around the green, we're ready to go. Yeah. Play well, pal. Thank you. Looking forward to this one. Unbelievably so. I've got a bit of a, oh, you know this, but I want to try and play every open venue. And so far, we've played Canusha together, the old course twice, and Birkdale as well. So Ooh, another yeah. one ticked off the bucket list. Looking forward to it. Now, what is unique about this golf course? Par three start. Mm. If you remember, I can't quite remember the year actually, but there's been loads of open championships here. Seve's won here, Gary Player's won here, David DeVal's won here, Tony Jacklin's won here, Ernie Els has won here, just to name a few. Anyway, break 75, in the sunshine, for all of them, it's just perfect. Red tees? Red tees, yeah, so these are the back tees today. So the golf course is playing today's condition, 6,750 yards, and it's a par 71. Uh, do you want to take the honour? I'd love to, yeah. All right, play well, pal, enjoy it. Off shot, right down it, right down it, right down it. Oh Not my bad goodness. first tee shot. Hopefully it's close. <laughs> Seven nine's the club, I think. Stay there. That's Might fine. have just trickled over the back edge. You know what is iconic about this place? That clubhouse, absolutely gorgeous. Some of the guys up on the terrace, giving us a wave, <laughs> wishing us on our way. Hmm, not my finest effort there. Nice, good start. Gonna hit a lot of three irons today. That's the strategy around here. That'll be very nice, I think, a little chaser. I need to probably land this about 140, so I'm just getting a really nice pitching wedge. What is quite testing here today, like Guy found his tee shot just in the rough, but with the pin being kind of behind the bunker, he couldn't like stop it. This golf course is definitely famous for its bunkers, for these kind of pot bunkers, which have these riveted faces. I wasn't far off where I wanted to land the ball, but actually just didn't quite factor in it would stop with a wedge so quick. Yeah, comfortable speed. Third hole, par four. Similar to the last word, kind of left. You, if you go there, it's safe away from the trouble, but there's a couple of bunkers. Kind of got to pierce one down the right hand side. Yeah, good shot. That should be spawn. With this link style rough, that's quite not actually too bad to be fair, but you do catch a like fly allies. So I've got 205 yards to the front of the green. So probably 220 to the pin or something like that. But I'm actually gonna hit a six iron. It's howling wind behind. It could come out of this quite hot. Oh, I've hit it well, pulled it again. Okay, second shot into the third hole. Found the fairway, which is nice. Right between clubs, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust the nine iron and let it fly on the wind. I think I just need to carry this about 155 yards. That's such a bad strike. There's a lot of bunkers that are in play on this hole. This isn't in play. Why am I even, why am I even near it? Sit. That's unreal. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Happy with that. Simmer, simmer. 
I did. Phenomenal speed. I had visions of that just shooting off then. Oh. <laughs> I kind of somehow, middle of the hill, went to the right. Strange on that. Ah, silly five. Well, that's oh, fade hard. Gonna work. Fade hard. That was a stinger driver, wasn't it? Okay, second shot, 143 yards back into the wind. I'm gonna try and knuckle down a nine iron, but I've got to hit it better than last. I've got to strike this really well. Oh, stop drawing. Ah, really, really in hindsight. And it's so easy to do just moments after you hit the shot. I should have tried to chip a little eight iron in there. That wind really affected the flight then. Okay, this is where I finished, left of the green. And actually, a lovely little lie. Now, come around here, let me show you this. This is the pin, not actually that far away. I actually don't think 9-9 was gonna be far off. I can go aerial, try and land it on the green, or I can try and be a little bit creative and feed it through the, the, the gap of these two bunkers. The cleavage of these two bunkers, potentially. Bite. Yeah, good effort. Let's see a drop in. Yes. Just like Kevin that. Kevin now at the end. You walked it in. I kind of half stepped it. <laughs> and then I thought, actually, should I? <laughs> I actually didn't think that was going to be too fast. I also thought it was a really good putt. I thought it was just going to get to the top there and just the speed just stopped it from breaking. Yes. Ramming them in. <laughs> <laughs> nice vibe so far. Just kind of feel like I'm easing my way into the round. Beautiful day. It's always nice to be playing out on a championship golf course, an open golf course, and certainly one of this calibre. We need to crack open the birdie sauce though. That's what we need to do. That'd make the day a lot better. Oh, pulled it again. Oh, that could be nice. Dig your teeth in, dig your teeth in. Woo! <laughs> it's one of those, honestly, it is, that, that is the beauty of links. Like there's no, there's almost, a level of like mystery that might happen on a shot. Certainly when you snag a lie that was as bad as that. And then you've got to contend with, on that shot particularly, I was trying to land it short. But when we land it short, you don't know how it's going to bounce, how it's going to react. The other element is the wind. <laughs> it's downwind off the right, it's never quite that. So all these kind of decisions you've got to make, micro decisions, which actually end up turning into the complete golf shot. This would be very, very, very nice. If not, let's nestle it nice and close. Come on. Oh, it was a good port. It just kind of snaked a tiny little bit. Yes. Well done, mate. Thank you. Nice little birdie. Join me. I will. I'll join you on the birdie sauce. Yeah, well done. Back to level. Oh, stay there, that's perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Low bullet drawing through iron into that little valley, run like the clappers, and then chase like crazy. Chase like crazy. Chase like crazy. <laughs> Okay, for back-to-back -back birdies. Yeah, well Very done. Very good. That is nice. Eighth hole, par four. This is a really nice hole. I'm gonna go three iron again. Golf shot. Travel. Potential look at a third birdie in a row. Oh, unique approach here, guy. 
I just feel in it a Lynx core. Seven or three. It's a three wood, gripping right down onto the shaft. It's like a putter. Might be the worst decision ever, but. Good for pace. -ish. Really good, really good for pace. Be getting lightheaded if this one goes in. Be drunk on birdie sauce. Oh, I didn't hit it. <laughs> oh, it's a good roll as well, that. Damn, never mind. Oh, naughty. I didn't see that lipping out. Gap wedge, 135 yards, slightly down breeze. Beautiful hole. Come on. Right into the heart of it. Oh, be the number and be in, get up and be in the hole. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my god! I literally thought I was in. <sighs> oh my god. As we walk up to the green. <laughs> oh, it's not even one of those ones where it looks it's like miles closer. away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's beyond god. the pin a bit. Look at this. Where's it actually pitched? It's hard to actually see a pitch mark. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, there. So it's taken like a big hop, a big hop, and it's finished within, within a foot from the hole. Oh my God. Shouldn't be and can't be too disappointed with that little tap in. For a birdie, that puts me two under par, front nine. Oh, money. He's on fire. <laughs> yes, great ball. Stay there. Fairly flat put, maybe just a touch off the left, but it is uphill. Firm. <sighs> Could have been so much firmer with that. Damn. <laughs> you need to bow to the audience. <laughs> yes. Well done. Should be good. Get past that bunker. Oh, I slipped. Go! Oh. this range so far today. If you can hold this, that will keep momentum very good. Pushed it. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that finish. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here in that finish. When it's your day, it's your day. Allow me, sir. When it's your day, it's your day. Because that was a crap foot. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, so after 11 holes, uh, You're on stops. fire. Thank you. <laughs> first things <laughs> first. You're on fire so far. Yeah, there's a bit of golf left. But I feel all right. Feeling confident. Yes. Um, we've got quite a few tested holes. Four, uh, 15's a toughie. 17's a toughie. But hey, listen. Let's see what happens. It was just stopped off at the halfway hour. Should love the chat with Jane. She's a very nice lady. Lovely lady. Uh, one thing didn't have any sausage rolls, and she kind of like apologises almost like she knew yeah. that this was going to be critiqued. So, as an athlete at the moment, I am. I've had a Kit Kat and a bottle of water. Hopefully that cracks me off. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that carries on the good goal for the back nine on the last Quick question for you. 
do you prefer Lynx Golf to Parkland? I know it's a broad question, but um, you can play one best of your life, Lynx or Parkland. It's hard to say when I'm probably on one of the best Lynx Golf courses yeah. in the world. So this is the channel here. That's our latest video, which is a put-in tips video. And then if I just subscribe, there you go. I'm done. <laughs> yes, that's another subscriber. Yeah, I'm Jane, done. Jane, you have to tell the camera to tell the camera to like and subscribe. What, you must subscribe. These are such a charming bunch of people. Great team. Ah. <laughs> Hungry and thirsty. Yes. Well, oh, that's nice. Please come and see us. Halfway house. This is how Royal we get and St. Yes. This is how we get subscribers <laughs> these days. Thank you, Jane. That was lovely of you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Oh, I told you she was nice. A lovely lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 12th hole, par three. You remember, remember what happened in the last par three? Let, let's go. Let's go 12 inches closer this time. Oh, that's such a bad golf shot. That's just because we were sat down for too long at the halfway house. <laughs> These are the ones when I was literally on the practice ground before, feeling like young Sevy. Okay, so after that horrendous chip, so frustrating because it's, it's there, I can do it, but not yet. Anyway, I'm going to hack this out, out the real deep stuff. Oh, go in the hole. Oh, that wasn't a million miles off. <laughs> I've now got that for bogey though. Oh, Rick. Oh, back to reality. <laughs> oh, crap hole. Double bogey. Back to level par. It's going to end at some point, right? Um, par four here. Kind of quite a short one. Playing at about 340 yards. So I am going to hit three wood. It's about 250. Leave myself 90 yards in and make, a, make the best You talk comeback. a really good game, Rick. Thanks, pal. Best comeback, birdie. Oh, block it miles right into the rubbish. Get lucky. Be good. Oh. Okay. Little bunker shot from here. Sit. Sit. I must admit, I kind of feel like this is quite a big putt. Right to left. Up the hill. Oh, God, that was a club port as well. I did, I rolled that really nice. Oh, yeah, 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 silly bogey on that hole. One over now. So that's two not great holes in a row for Rick there. But he's only one over par, so he can still easily break 75. But I think already his head is going a little bit. He needs to calm down. I can see it in his eyes sometimes. He tries to chase it. But fingers crossed, like one more birdie or something like that. And I think it's, it's a done deal. He'll do it. But equally, there could be a double bogey or something. So fingers crossed. It's going to be good viewing anyway. I can guarantee you that. So we both blocked it on the right here. Guys over there, somehow he's scabbed. Practically a fairway lie. <laughs> well, for me, I've not gone as far offline. Look at that. I'm 210 yards away. Thing is, like, it could literally hit that bank, couldn't it? I think you'd take your medicine, go for like a seven iron, just hack it out, that, get it down there. Worst case, it's a bogey. That's a golf shot. That is literally all you could do from there. This the shot finished about 80 yards short of the green, so that eight time went about 180 yards. Ah. Go. Oh, I never saw that breaking at the end so much. The good news, we're just about to hit the really hard holes. <laughs> Right, I've got to settle the ship here a little bit. 
two over now. Stay away from that bunker. Stay away from that bunker. Stay away from it. Turn. Turn. Oh, so, oh, so close. Anyway, a nice splash bunker shot is what's needed. And take the break. Then take the break. Yeah, very good shot, that. That will do. Yeah, good pull. Great save. Great save. Needed. That was needed. <laughs> that was very good. 16th hole. Beautiful. 18th is just behind me with the clubhouse. We'll be there very soon. Mm, it's a little bit leaky. Bad tee shot, really, with a three iron there. Shouldn't have blocked it so far right. It's just hard to trust the marker on the hill because it almost forces you so far to the left. I've got 110 yards. I'm actually going to go for kind of front left of the green. No, oh, it's got to travel a lot. <sighs> that was a bad shot there. Oh, bad, bad, bad shot. When certainly when I was going left side, I shouldn't have been anywhere near these bunkers. Bite hard. Oh! <laughs> you lucky, lucky man. Lucky? That was a lucky it didn't go in. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very solid. Well, mm, yeah, good. Two sand saves in a row, no biggie. get lucky right guys so i've got a bit lucky here lucky and unlucky i've hopped these bunkers just behind you it's not brilliant but it could have been a lot worse the lie is not bad i'm just gonna go really solid nine iron run through yeah. oh. uh, how do i play this rick I know how I should play it, it's the fact of how do I play it. Yeah, I think I've got this. Yeah, I think this is one you have to chip, because to put that... There's a lot going on, isn't there? <laughs> there's a lot going on in the ears when I try and play yeah. a shot too. Okay, come on, this is the time. Land it on, run it up close. Strike. Nip, 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 nip. Great shot. That was the shot to play. So we yeah, it well. take that. Very good. It's getting closer. It's like, oh, a little tiny bit closer to be able to actually play some nice chips again. Yes, up and down king. <laughs> that's a nice one, that. That's, that's a, that'd be a nice little confidence booster. That was a big one. Two over. One hole to go. The infamous 18th. Back towards the clubhouse. Littered. Like many holes around here with fairway bunkers. Come on, find the fairway. Oh, I think that's so bad. I've hit that so bad. Straight in the first bunker. Like literally straight in the first bunker. Oh guys, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Oh. It's not only really bad, it's also plugged. Oh. oh, you absolute idiot. Absolute idiot. I think I'm with other options. I can go out that way sideways, but I'm just worried that if it doesn't quite go to plan, that could be really dangerous. Yeah, I should be able to just splash it out of here. I think if you trust yourself and really out flatten that face and just hit it hard, I think you will get it out. It won't go very far, but... <laughs> Bad. 
that's a golf shot. Yeah. Okay, got to make up and down from there. Come on, at least give myself a chance. That's all I'm asking for here. It's got to travel. It's got to really travel. It's on, I think, ish. It's right on top of that bunker, isn't it? Okay, not maybe the finish <laughs> I wanted. Dramatic anyway, at least. I've got to hold this and it ran top of the bunker. I've got to hold that for a 74. Hopefully two put it no worse for a 75. I think I would have taken that maybe at the start today, yeah. but I think after through nine holes being two under par, it does feel like a slightly disappointing back nine. Uh, not a bad effort. <laughs> oh, frustratingly, kind of left it a bit short. Right guys, final putt. To actually shoot 75. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way and that is golf. Let's hope I can just knock this in. Yeah. 75, double bogey down the last, but well done, mate. That is golf. It is. That is golf. <laughs>